Now, the meditation is not emptying the mind. That is something which people have been thinking wrongly of, an error in perception. Emptying the mind. Why should we empty the mind? We should restructure the mind, think positive. Emptying the mind without clarifying or ventilating the emotions or without understanding the interaction of emotion within ourselves, if we go towards emptying the mind or making the mind empty of thoughts, we would end up suppressing this highly volatile state of thoughts. In fact, it's very dangerous. When do we go into emptying the mind? It happens naturally, where the mind becomes heightened. It doesn't become empty. Empty means like when you are asleep. Empty. Or when someone asks you, what do you think about this? I don't know. What do you want to do in life? I don't know. What do you want to do tomorrow? I don't know. What do you want to do in another minute? I don't know. Why? Mind is empty. Okay, stay there. That is empty, the mind. Right? The rest of us, we can't afford. We have to think creatively. We need to exercise the brain. But we don't want to dissipate the mind. We don't want it to think hundred things at a different, different, hundred different things. We want to enable it to think two or three things in a flow. Or by training, we can keep it in one train of thoughts and we can accomplish a lot by doing this form of training. So meditation today is on the three obstacles in life. Three obstacles in life. One is created by obstacles created by others, other human beings or living beings. In fact, yoga philosophy says that living things, that means could be a human being, could be an animal. Let's say, for example, you want to go jogging. You want to go jogging, you have a very nice place, you want to go jogging, but there are five stray dogs there, with very sharp teeth. So, you see here, not only human beings are against us, but also animals. So, what can you do? We cannot continue. Unless we get someone to come and shoot the dogs, which again is violent. So we find another way. We find another way to still continue jogging, but avoiding that place, which is ideal. But we compromise. We want to continue with the exercise, but we create a change. Same with human beings. If there are human beings which are creating problems, so for example, somebody is very violent with you, or somebody is not at all supporting your growth in an office, for example, not supporting your growth at all. So what do you do? It's an obstacle created by another human being. Or you are in a country which has a, a leader who is very oppressive, like for example, like Hitler or cockroach. Right? So what do you do? You, you move away from your man. If it's a cockroach, right? move away from the man. If it's, a, if it's someone like a door filter, you try to get out from the country. If it is an office which has a person who does not allow you to exhale, then you have to find another place. Or if you are in a family where everybody is abusive, your siblings are abusive, or sexually assault you, or a spouse who is very much against your development, then you have to move away. It's, it's very simple. It's not simple, but this is steps which we need to do. Okay, now we have analyzed human beings, living beings, including some five, five stray animals, dogs. And then we move to the nature. If nature is not allowing you to, to progress, I'm looking at the cockroach. I'm going to Mithya. Okay? <laughs> Okay, now it's moving to Nimala. <laughs> Nimala, the cockroach is approaching you. Don't react. Calm down. Okay, Mendy, don't you? Relax. Okay, now, you see, can you... Isn't it amazing that 
Isn't it amazing that we are talking about disturbances and we have a real example here. <laughs> Such an amazing task. Nature is providing us this opportunity. And uh, Nirmal, can you help? Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, nature. These are disturbances by nature. Huh? <coughs> okay, handle. Okay, you can come down. Relax. Now go back to your place, Mandy. Come down. Relax. Stabilize your heartbeat. Okay, all, all good. Handle ready. So handle. So, like this, we can handle. We can act to rectify the problem, the obstacle. We have now rectified the cockroach problem. All right, Mandy, you can relax. Come down. Okay, look here. All right. Close the eyes. No problem now. We already settled. Already settled. Okay. Now we. This is so, so beautiful. So examples are given. But uh, like nature, we don't want an earthquake to happen now. No? We don't want that kind of example. But if nature is creating problem, then we can rectify by, let's say if it's raining, you want to go out, bring an umbrella. You don't say that, oh, it's raining, I don't want to go out. You can still overcome. It's raining, so I sleep. No, you overcome it. It's raining. You leave the house early. So that is the second example. What is the third example? What is the third obstacle? What is the third obstacle? Not cockroach, no, that is already. That's third obstacle is from the self. How can we rectify obstacles created by the self? By your mind, by your emotion, by your body. How do you rectify this problem if it is your own self? And you cannot see it, but everyone else can see it. Don't laugh. Okay, now. How can you rectify by being aware? Why is it that everyone is saying something about me, but I can't see? It's because the mind is very noisy. So you calm down and see. Be very honest. Okay, now I know. What is the problem with me? Now, once you have identified the problem with you, don't become depressed. Fight and find a solution to that problem. It's an obstacle. Find a solution to that emotional problem or physical problem or mental problem. By, by what? To find a solution to mental problem, physical problem, emotional problem, what do we do? What do we do? Hello? This is okay. kind of like interactive meditation. What do we do? Huh? What class is this? Okay, we do yoga. Come on. What is this? Huh? Right? The answer is we practice yoga. We practice yoga. Not only the physical asanas, because that will rectify only the physical problems, right? We have, we have problems with the physical body, we practice the asanas. Now, if we have problems with the emotional system, what do we practice? We practice the cleansing techniques. Yes, it is the cleansing techniques. Jalaneti, Kunjal and Chanka, which helps to clear off the emotional problems. And we practice introspection to reduce the mental problems. In introspection, that means study. Don't feel guilty, don't feel depressed, don't feel sad. Be happy because you are now finding a solution. Now tell me, why should you feel angry and sad and guilty embarking on training of understanding yourself? You should not, isn't it? The first step, the step towards clearing should make you feel happy. Why should we feel angry and upset and sad when we have taken steps to rectify the emotional and mental issues? We should be happy. I am happy because I have taken the first step towards rectifying these issues. Are we clear now? Are we clear? Or is your mind empty? <laughs> we are clear now. We are clear of cockroaches. The cockroach did not come from here. It came from the door outside. In fact, we do a lot of... Uh, uh, purification in the center, right? Just like how you purify, but I think it's related to the discussion today. 
because you have never had cockroach coming here, isn't it? It's quite remarkable. We never had this issue. But as we are talking about obstacles created by nature, we have a cockroach slowly in a very calm way, almost like a very yogic way, slowly going and, you know, starting with uh, Kavi, but slowly, step by step, until it was in a very loving way, chased out by Nirmal. So we thank Nirmal for saving our today, yeah. saving us today. All right, with these beautiful feelings, wishing all good health, peace and harmony. We rub the palms together, bring it up the face, the back of the head, back of the neck, chest, abdomen, lower back, knee. One more time. Interesting, huh? Okay, thank you very much.